Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm in the Aquascape Recreation Pond and I'm pretty excited about today's video because I'm gonna test out a new piece of equipment that my good friend Greg, Wick, uh, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, gave me and that's my Access Go. It turns my iPhone into an amazing underwater camera. Uh, this is an amazing gift that G Greg gave me amongst many because uh, we happen to be in one of the biggest gifts I've ever gotten. Uh, of course, Aquascape sent it to me and gave it to me. Uh, but anyway, this thing right here is a pretty cool way to photograph things underwater using your iPhone. So uh, today's video will be shooting with this. But in addition to that, I wanted to check out the pond. It's been cold the last few days. The water feels cold. You can see I'm in my wetsuit. So I want to check on the cichlids, see how they're doing. And uh, in addition, we're going to hang out and swim with the black pond turtle. Uh, the spotted turtle, spotted pond turtle, all these names are what you could use to describe Geoclemmys, Hamiltoni. Uh, you guys saw when I unboxed these guys a few weeks ago, my friend Maurice sent them to me, two, two of them. This is the largest of the two females. They're an incredible species I've always wanted. Uh, one that is heavily protected, they're a CITES one animal, and so you cannot sell these animals. Oh, I know you're upset, I know. You cannot sell these animals uh, across state lines, uh, but you can do breeding loans and you can gift them. So these were a gift to me uh, from my friend Maurice Rodriguez, and uh, man, they're just beautiful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get set up, gonna get my, ooh, careful. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, camera ready and we're gonna film this video, and I hope you guys will dig it. Uh, I think you're really gonna appreciate what's going on, and uh, along with the video, I'm gonna explain to you what I do uh, with the pond when it's cold. So let's go ahead and start this out. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. What a beautiful turtle. And look at this. Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get myself situated so we can see this beautiful pond. Oh, and this beautiful turtle here together. All right. See you in a minute. This lens just offers an incredible perspective of the pond. You can kind of see what's going on above the water and what's happening below. Look at all these cichlids. Now what I've had to do guys, is since it's been cold, the water temperatures are in the high 60s. It's starting to get a little too close for comfort as far as temperature to keep these guys happy and healthy. So I've been running well water into the pond and that takes the edge off. I've also shut off the circulating pump along the bottom so that the water doesn't get mixed up too much. I wanna create thermoclines or actually a warmer section at the bottom of the pond. Let's check out this spotted turtle. It's starting to move around. Indian spotted turtles come from India and Pakistan. And they were once very popular in the pet trade in the early 70s, but in around 76, they were made CITES 1, which means, like I said earlier, that there's no more interstate commerce and no more importation of this animal. However, luckily for us, there have been a lot of breeders, uh, actually a few breeders, in Florida and in California that produce these animals. And one breeder in particular here in Florida, Wayne Hill produces a few hundred every year. They're an incredible species and very hardy in captivity, but you're gonna need a large aquarium if you ever got your hands on one. Uh, these guys grow to be about 12 inches long shell length and um, they are just incredible. They're carnivorous. So that means, of course, they're gonna be eating a lot of animal materials, uh, a lot animal protein. So these guys can eat invertebrates. We're talking about freshwater shrimp, crayfish, they've got a large uh, 
crushing uh, mouth. They've got a very large head and they'll crush snails, they'll crush crayfish, uh, other invertebrates like worms, uh, but they'll also eat carrion in the form of dead fish, live fish. Uh, they'll eat anything that they can chew up, bite off chunks of, and either scavenge or hunt. Most of the time they spend the day kind of hiding uh, in, under logs and rock crevices, but they do also spend a good portion of their time basking. So UVB is going to be crucial for this species. Here in Florida, I'm able to keep them outside all year round as we really don't get too cold um, during the coldest part of the years, uh, year rather. So they're able to withstand our winter. That being said, if it does dip into the 50s at night, you're going to want to make sure they have some kind of supplemental heat and that their um, water doesn't get below 65 degrees. To achieve this here in Florida, I just run my well water. And that seems to work out just perfectly because the well, the well water comes out at 72 degrees, which is fantastic because, hey man, we don't want to kill our animals now, do we? I'm going to let this guy get a little bit more acclimated to his surroundings. <clears throat> so why don't we go and check out some of the cichlids right now just to see how they're doing and some of the other areas of the pond. And we'll come back to this guy once he's moving around a little bit more. I'm really excited to show you how the fish are doing. It's so serene under the water to see just a myriad of colors on all of these cichlids. And I have such an amazing population that has taken root here in this pond. It's so cool to see that this ecosystem is working as I anticipated, along with my friend Paul from Angel's Hatchery really helped me out to stock this pond with some amazing African cichlids and I'm loving the variety that I'm seeing. I do ever notice that this Malawi eye biter looks like he got in a bit of a scrape, perhaps with another male of his species. He seems to have damaged his face on the side there, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for him and hope that he's actually gonna be okay. And of course, we do have the koi in here. This large white koi is doing extremely well. And it's nice just to see a larger fish and a little bit more variety in the species that I have. Very cool stuff. Now let's go see if we can find that Indian spotted turtle. Maybe it's come out of its shell, so to speak. What I found is they are definitely a shyer species of turtle, and he really doesn't want much to do with me, but he does seem to know where cover is, so he heads right for the tunnel here, and he wants to get away from me as fast as possible. But hey, man, uh, I got to film you, buddy. I'm sorry. So we'll just follow along here, but I noticed I got some more work to do. <laughs> Let's see if I can get on the other side. And I also see that I need to get rid of some of these uh, roots that are growing down because they're impeding the water flow. It's been a little while since I've been in the pond and it looks like it needs some water gardening. I am the water gardener, aren't I? So we're just gonna pull these weeds because what's happening is it's just stopping some of the algae from getting skimmed out to the back waterfall. Remember, this whole thing is more like a section of river rather than a pond. The water is constantly moving, and I've got to allow it to do that. Hey, this guy made it to the back to the main portion of the pond, and he wants to skedaddle ASAP. This guy's been a lot of fun. Well, we've had more exciting guys to swim with, but you know what? I love them all the same. Super excited to have this species. Well, all right, guys, let's uh, say we bring this guy back out front and put her back where she belongs with some of her friends. Oh, 
want to thank Greg once again for that really cool access go for my iPhone. Now I got to somehow oh, get out of here with one hand. Here we go. Whew. I got to tell you, <laughs> that pond's cold. Holy smokes. I was starting to shiver even though I had a wetsuit on. So I think it's a little cooler than I thought. But the good thing is, is I haven't seen any problems with the fish, save that one Malawi eye biter that seems to have gotten in a scrape. Or is it a scrap? I think it's called a scrap. Uh, anyhow, let's go ahead, walk, take the short walk back here. Oh, by the way, truck is home. She's been out of commission for the last month at the dealer. Uh, just a little third brake light gasket was leaking. So I'm really stoked to have the truck back. But here we are, back out front. Let's get this gal back where I found her. She sure does love it in this pond. And uh, these guys really are very shy. There she goes, good girl. She likes to go in and loves to just find a little rock, wedge into it, and no drama for her. Awesome. Woo! There she goes, out of sight. Yep, she's gonna hide under the bridge. Okay, so there you have it, everybody. You got to see the cichlids, which we haven't seen in a while. The pond needed a little uh, attention as far as some of those roots growing down, those ferns, their roots are growing down, stopping the flow of the pond. And uh, man, really cool to see it just flourishing so nicely. More videos coming this week. Uh, I'm supposed to go hang out with another one of uh, our reptile buddies, Chandler. So we're going to link up with him this week or in the next couple of videos. We should have a really good time. There it is, everybody. The Aquascape Recreation Pond in the Florida winter. Late fall. Almost winter. Whatever. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can barely move my mouth. Uh, it's a little numb. But uh, there you go. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys again real soon. Hope you enjoyed this one and learned something about the Indian spotted turtle, Geoclemys hamiltoni. I'll see you guys later.